ATACMS missiles will easily destroy all Russian air defense in Crimea. Military expert. The United States of America will provide Ukraine with ATACMS missiles in a new package of assistance, informs CNN. Last autumn, the United States sent Ukraine a variant of the medium-range ATACMS missile system, which can reach about 160 kilometers, while the longer-range version can reach 305 kilometers. Ukrainian military expert Oleksandr Kovalenko says that after the last attack on the airfield in the Zankoy area, Russian propaganda platforms immediately began to report that Ukraine carried out an attack with ATACMS ballistic missiles, but they were all shot down. Sometime later, Russian patriots were completely covered with panic moods in connection with the real results of the strike. Subsequently, a video was published showing the launch of six MGM-140B Block 1A missiles, which was attributed to the attack on Zankoy. Based on this, the strike potential was exactly six ballistic missiles, Kovalenko added. According to him, in turn, on the satellite images published later at the airfield in Zankoy, six fire areas spaced apart by distance were clearly recorded. That is, all the missiles flew to their destination. The effectiveness of the strike turned out to be maximum, but the question arises, how many missiles of this type may be needed in general to disable the Russian air defense in the Crimea? We witnessed how effectively the division was destroyed by six ATA CMS missiles in Zankoy. In fact, thanks to the incident, the north of the temporarily occupied peninsula of Crimea is not covered from the penetration and flight of some medium and large sized objects, Kovalenko added. In general, the strike of six MGM-140B Block 1A missiles on the airfield near Zankoy disabled the entire division of the 18th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment. That is, this is the minimum indicator of the effective use of this component and it should be considered as a basic one. In other words, to disable other divisions, an impact potential of six missiles or more is required. I think you do not need to be a genius to calculate that. In general, a resource of at least 24 MGM-140B Block 1A missiles is needed to disable the long-range air defense components of the S-400 air defense system in Crimea. But again, this is if the goal is the complete neutralization of the S-400 air defense system in Crimea, Kovalenko added. Most of the U.S. military aid to Ukraine is already in Poland. This includes the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and other military equipment. This means that military aid will reach Ukraine sooner, recall, the House of Representatives has finally approved billions of dollars in new U.S. military aid for Ukraine to help combat Russia's invasion, the U.S. Senate is poised to vote on April 23 on a significant aid package for Ukraine. Following months of debate, the House of Representatives approved the assistance with broad bipartisan support, making the passage in the Senate almost certain Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced, the finish line is now in sight for the assistance package. The task before us is urgent. It is once again the Senate's turn to make history, said Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the final package, totaling $95 billion in military assistance to U.S. allies, includes funds for Israel and Taiwan alongside the $61 billion earmarked for Ukraine. President Joe Biden is expected to receive the bill for approval by the end of the week according to CNN, while American officials will not say so openly, a U.S. source familiar with the provision of military aid to Ukraine said much of it is already pre-positioned in storage facilities in Germany and Poland, which would obviously cut down on the amount of time needed to get it into Ukraine. The source also said artillery shells would be among the first materials moved forward once across the border, officials in Kiev will look to get it where it is needed as quickly as they can, but doing so will still present a considerable logistical challenge given the sheer quantity of material involved. Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. 
Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US made M2 270 multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made Hamars rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts.